Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there, I'm DJ, and this is War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the news for the week and the upcoming Final Fantasy VII event, where this is mostly going to be about Final Fantasy VII. There's a lot of news this week. I'm going to touch on a couple of the other things that I think are pretty cool to me, but mostly, I'm just going to tell you guys, if you haven't been paying attention to the news, if you've been living under a rock, Final Fantasy VII is finally coming to us this week. The collab that we've all been waiting for, we're going to have Cloud... Tifa, Aerith, and Barret. Um, the first week is going to be Cloud and Tifa. Tifa's free, so you're not even going to have to pull her. Anyone who logs in just gets Tifa for free as a login bonus. That's amazing. And you might be like, well, Dejan, Tifa is probably not going to be great because she's free. Why would they give us blah, blah, blah? Tifa's an amazing unit, potentially, possibly, maybe the best out of the four. So uh, that's a great thing. Um, but... If you're going to go for all four, you'll probably like all of them. If you want to only go for free Tifa, you're probably going to like her a lot. Or you can pick and choose any combination. But anyway, so week one is going to be Tifa and Cloud. So uh, let me cover them real quick. Cloud, he is an ex-soldier first class Cloud. Um, his main job is Soldier Final Fantasy VII Remake. So not to be confused with Soldier, like, you know, Stern and a million other people have the Soldier job. This is going to be a bit different. This is going to be a lot different. Uh, and he's also got Ranger and Nightblade. He is lightning based. I don't remember if I said that or not. Uh, his limit burst is Ascension. That's an interesting name for me because Cloud has a lot of iconic limit breaks in, you know, over the course of the years. So it's, I, it's interesting that they're going with something called Ascension. But, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's interesting. Um, he's going to have Cross Slash. He's going to have Soldier's Honor. These are just some of the abilities. Cross Slash, big damage. Soldier's Honor is a buff. Um, Tifa, she's a wind-based Star of the Seventh Heaven. Tifa, boom. She's a monk, Final Fantasy VII Remake, so it's not going to be exactly the same as Monk you might know, but she definitely, it makes sense. She's a monk, she punches. Uh, and she's also got Ninja and Paladin as sub-jobs, so she'll have a nice little kit there. Um, her limit burst is Somersault Combo. She's also got Star Shower, which is a four hit move, which so she can like self chain. That will complete a lot of those missions for you. Uh, if you ever get like, oh, you need to do a three chain or a three elemental combo, this will do it. It's kind of like Quad Shot from Lucia or Summer Lilith or Luartha or any anyone that can do that kind of thing. Um, and Omni Strike. So she's got some cool stuff coming. She She's really good and she's really free, like I was saying before. Um, that's the big thing. Here we have a tower, a promise. This is uh, Tifa's vision card. Uh, I believe, yes, I was going to say, I believe it has global upgrades. It has, for Tifa only, max HP up and missile resist up. So it's getting buffed for Tifa, you use it with her. You'll have those uh, buffs. Oh, and for Cloud only, critical damage up. I don't think you're going to be using this card on Cloud, but maybe if you want to. Or maybe, you know, for trial things, uh, if you ever need to make that combo work, possibly. Uh, there's going to be the bingo board for them, 120 shards each. And yeah, so just so this uh, isn't a million years long. Oh, here's a bingo board for the card. These are just describing the jobs. However, um, we're not getting any other EX jobs. A lot of people thought maybe Laswell or, you know, whoever, but only Cloud and Tifa this week. So maybe if we are getting Laswell soon, he'll be next week or the week after. I don't know. Uh, Chocobo Expedition for their shards. And, oh, and Fenrir is getting three star. That's super cool. Um, Fenrir has always been a solid Esper. They're adding stop resist. Uh, for the ailment resists, so that's really cool. Uh, next up, okay, that's the Final Fantasy VII stuff. Uh, also, I am going to be pulling for Cloud on Reset. So if you want to watch me do pulls for Cloud, bingo, bango, bongo, I'll be doing that on Reset. Um, additionally, Gargus is the win select unit. He's a UR. He's going to be alright. I'm going to go for him. I'm going to try to unlock him. He's free. You just have to do the quests, which require MR units. Um... So that's another unit. But here is the Final Fantasy VII login bonuses. Tifa is free on day one. So anyone that plays the game during this collab 
the first day you log on during the cloud, you just get Tifa for free. You don't even have to pull, you don't have to do anything. You just log in and she'll be in your mail. Um, 40 cloud shards on day two, 40 Tifa shards on day five, and a bunch of other stuff uh, in the process. Challenge missions for them. This is not to be confused with the bingo board. This is something completely different. Um, you can acquire their event medals. These are just some of the Final Fantasy VII quests that will be up during the collab. I know one of them is for Cloud's Buster Sword. Uh, it's, it's a good sword. It adds uh, lightning damage and I believe slash attack. And it's a big sword, a large sword, a great sword, whatever. Uh, it's good. Cloud needs it. You get it for him. It's probably good. And any other uh, lightning unit great sword users that we get in the future... It will probably be best in slot for them as well, so maybe even get two of them if you have, you know, the the energy and time. Um, but yeah, that is... In addition, 40 Cloud and 40 Tifa Shards are included in the lineup to aid you in your training. Oh, so... Oh, in the Event Medals. Okay, so you'll be able to just buy Tifa and Cloud Shards for Event Medals for running those events. Alright, here is one of the non-Final Fantasy VII things I wanted to... Uh, comment on affinity resonance keys are coming out that in is an interesting mission but this right here this is the very big thing for me this is one of the things i wanted to talk about real quick before i end it uh jp and exp and item drop triple up campaign now there's a lot of campaigns this week like guild like item up double drop hard quests secret book hard quest is amazing by the way but I've been dying for a double up campaign from story quests because I am short on a lot of stuff from those that I need. And then, to my surprise, here we have a triple up, even better. This is amazing. I am going to use so many skip tickets, I'm going to farm so much story stuff. This is really good, and especially when you get a lot of units, like you're going to be working on Tifa, you're going to be working on Cloud. Um, potentially if you pull them and yeah, so this is gonna be a great time to get a lot of those mats if you don't already have them orbs and all kinds of stuff like that So that is a really good thing the affinity resonance quest is gonna be like a key based thing where you use a key and you can uh, You can go into this affinity resonance quest kind of like the JP quest is you have with the keys, but uh, There is going to be one that you can challenge once per day during this week from the 25th to the 31st so that's kind of like a test drive of this affinity room thing i guess like so you can run this once a day for free for a week without needing a key but once this week is over you can still you know run it whenever as long as you have a key to open the room and then yeah so lots of other stuff a rerun of this for the uh the fist for pugilists and all that uh they're probably doing that so you can get them for tifa if you don't have them already, but yeah. Uh, new guild battle map, new free match map, blah, 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 blah. This is for lightning unit critical hit rate up for the guild. That is going to be good for cloud. But uh, yeah, so the big thing here is then there's a lot of stuff. And there's a ton of stuff in frontline. I really suggest you go over and look through it. Uh, I don't want to get into it too much because a lot of the frontline stuff doesn't come live this week. But you're going to be able to skip the messages now that pop up when you open the game for the first time there's going to be adding new icons to the left side of the screen it's really nice they're they're also upgrading the guild cap for some reason that's interesting i don't know if anyone's ever come close to capping guild but they're upping the cap so if you have it's your lucky day um and oh in, uh they're they're making it so you can have multiple guild battle teams saved now that's pretty nice but yeah the big thing is just final fantasy 7 uh it's coming like I said, first week, Cloud and Tifa. Uh, a couple weeks later, we'll get Baron and Aerith. There's uh, Guard Scorpion in there somewhere. Esper, Vision Card, whatever. And yeah, so if you guys are going to pull, I wish you great luck. Uh, like I said, I'll be pulling on Wednesday morning. If anybody wants to come hang out in my stream for that, I'll do it live. Twitch.tv slash DJNTP. Um, and if you don't want to or can't be there live, then... I'll post the pull video to YouTube. I'll post it here on the channel uh, when I'm done. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys are going to pull, make sure you utilize the Amazon coin link below. If you want to save 20% on your Viz purchases, uh, it will help my channel out and you'll save a ton. So you're not even giving anything extra. You're actually saving and 
uh, you're helping out my channel in the process. So I would really appreciate it and you get to save. So it's a win-win for everybody involved. Uh, but yeah, so I know I've been doing that. I, I use Amazon Coin for every everything in this game. That's just it because it saves me so much. It's just really good. You do have to play through the Amazon App Store, which requires you to link through a Facebook. But, um, you know, it's not that bad. Once you have it all set up, it's easy peasy. Uh, and yeah, I think that's about all I got. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're pumped and as excited for Final Fantasy VII as I am. I'll make more videos in the future, like in the next coming days and weeks about the bulk of the Final Fantasy VII stuff. This is just touching on mainly the Cloud and Tifa stuff for now. Also, there's a Final Fantasy VII trial coming up on, I believe, September 8th. Uh, I might be wrong on the date, but it's around there. It's like September 8th, and that'll be really cool. I usually go really ham on the trials, so that'll be super fun, and uh, yeah. I hope everyone enjoys that, and just all the Final Fantasy VII festivities we have. Final Fantasy VII's been an amazing game. It's done a lot of things for the Final, Fr Final Fantasy franchise as a whole. You know, it's taken them to levels that they couldn't imagine. I know all the Final Fantasy games are great, but there's just something that Final Fantasy VII does for Final Fantasy that allows us to have these kinds of games. So you gotta love it. Even if you hate the game, I know not everyone likes it, you gotta at least appreciate what it has done for the franchise. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's about it. That's all I got. Good luck in your poll, seriously. Um, and just have an amazing day. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.